Hi there. Well, I have a really cute one-eyed rescue cat named Peggy, but she's losing lots of hair at the moment because it's summer over here. So I was really impressed when SwitchBot reached out to me with their ear purifier, which is especially designed for removing pet air, pet dander, and odors from the room. So the unit that I received has this really cool little tabletop included so that you can use it as a piece of furniture in your bedroom or your dining room. And it's also got this little section which acts as a wireless phone charger. Now this unit is selling for 269 US at the moment, but they've got a 20% off special using the code. It has a really powerful fan which offers 360 degree room protection. It is able to process up to 236 cubic feet of air per minute, which means that if you have a 20 square meter room with 2.4 meter stud height, it will purify all the air within 7.2 minutes. It has a three layer filtration system, which is removing up to 93.45% of the hair. Um, the three layers consist of a pre-filter, getting the, the large hair particles. The second layer is a HEPA filter, removing bacteria. And the third layer is a carbon filter, which removes odors. There are multiple ways of controlling this device. You can either manually set the speeds or you can use voice commands through Miss A or Google, as well as you can control this device via Meta. At the moment, you do need the SwitchBot hub, but SwitchBot has told me that within a month, the device will be able to connect directly to Meta itself. There are multiple different mode settings from pet to automatic modes to timer modes where you can set it on special schedules. It has a long filter life, up to six months, and it has a particulate matter sensor within it, so you can uh, monitor your environment and see as it changes, and even automate the fan on and off, depending on the amount of particulate in the air. It also has this really cool little light, whereby you can control this across a multitude of different colors, as well as different brightness settings, and you can even allow this to be controlled automatically, which will effectively show you the quality of the air when it changes. So the unit has a really nice solid feeling to it. The table itself, if we have a look up the top there, we can see the little circle, which is the charging area. So if I just place a phone on top of there, it will charge via magnetic induction. On the front side over here, we have our buttons. So we have a power or a Wi-Fi indication. First of all, we have a little locking button over here that will lock the unit. We have a switch for setting between one, two, and three fan speeds. We have a power button over here. Then we have our setting between our auto, pet, and sleep modes. And then we have a timer mode from two hour, four hour, six hour, if we look at the back side of the unit, we can remove this rear piece. It's magnetic and that allows you to get into the filtration area. Once we've got that out, we can pull the filter out. As you can see, it's a pretty big filter. Um, on the inside of the filter, it's black and this is the carbon on the inside that's doing the purification for odors. You can see you've got the cover on the outside and then you've got the HEPA filter on the inside of that. So that just slides in over there. You can see it's got a nice, um, it's not a rubber, it's almost like a foam rubber sort of seal that seals it up really well. On the back side over here, we have our power input. It does come with this fairly substantial looking power brick and quite a long braided cable. It also has this little pop-out tray here that you can use to put some essential oils in there and it will then distribute that odor while it's purifying the air. So once we've gone through the simple pairing process, which includes connecting it to your Wi-Fi network, we can then open it up within the app and you can see immediately that it's giving us a reading on the air quality. So it's measuring particulate matter of size 2.5. Now it's giving us a four at the moment, which it's saying is very good. From here, we can actually turn the device on or off using the app. And then we've got access to the level. So we can select auto, which will control the device dependent on 
air quality. We can select pet mode, which would set it to high, or sleep mode, which would set it to low. We can also go in here and we can see a little bit of a graph of the changes in the particulate matter size. Next up, we can go to the schedules and over here, you could go and create a schedule to turn on at a certain time, turn off at a certain time. If we go into our controls at the top here, you can see that we can go into the backlight and sound settings. So here we can set the light settings on, off or auto. We can set the brightness settings. We can also choose from a range of different colors over there. We can select the child lock to be turned on or the do not disturb. Um, we can also control the wireless charging. So whether that is on or off. So in order to test the automatic function of this device, I sprayed some deodorant near the device so that the particulate matter sensor would pick it up. And as you can see, the numbers went up pretty quickly. The fan went on and it started clearing the air. This is pretty cool. And this will obviously prolong your filter life by not running it all the time. The LED colors look really cool and they add that nice accent to your room. If you set them to the low setting, they could definitely be used as a nightlight. So out of the box, this device offers Amazon, Google Assistant, Siri, SmartThings, Homey, If This Then That, and Matter Integration. Unfortunately, nothing for Home Assistant at this stage, except for we're going via Matter. So if we want to set up the Matter, what we need to do is have a smart hub from SwitchBot. So we go along to our hub. I've got the hub too. There we go over there. And then what we do is we go into the settings of the hub too. And we scroll down here to the matter setup component. Once we're in the matter setup, we need to go along to secondary devices. And as you can see, you've got a list of all the different SwitchBot devices here. Now you are limited to a maximum of eight devices on the matter network at any stage through SwitchBot. So what I've done is I've selected the air purifier, which was down at the bottom here, and I've added to that list. Once you've done that, we'll go and have a look in Home Assistant. So having a look inside Home Assistant, we go along to Matter Devices, and sure enough, here it is. Now it doesn't show as an air purifier, it just shows as an off on off plug unit. And as you can see, the only control we have here is to be able to turn the device on or off. No access to changing the LED color or the speed of the fan or anything like that. But let's hope this improves in the future. So overall, my thoughts about this device are first of all, quality wise, SwitchBot has done a great job here. I'm really impressed with the feeling of the filter. It's got a really chunky and substantial feeling. It's got a removable mat on the outside so you can easily clean off any pet fur and put it back on. Um, I also like the fact that it's got that automatic mode that it actually senses the particulates and control the airflow based on that, which will really save your filter life. On the matter side, it would be really great if we can get more functionality coming through in the future. So we have more control, for example, to see the particulate sensor monitoring. The other thing you could do is connect something like an Apollo sensor within Home Assistant, which would measure a whole multitude of different air quality measurements and could control it through Home Assistant based on that with the matter integration. Anyway, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you so much for joining me in this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.